Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I hope you had a marvelous uh, holiday. And it is actually today is Tuesday, um, the 27th. I think this is this will air on the 28th. Um, and I just thought I would come back and wish you all well and just do a little crafting with you. Um, Please pardon my voice. I've been uh, I've been sick <laughs> over the holidays. I've had a bad cold. Um, fortunately, it uh, was better uh, in terms of being able to spend time with family on Christmas Day and whatnot. And the grandkids all have it anyway. So, you know, <laughs> what can I say? It's like my uh, my uh, son and daughter in law. We say that daycare uh, and illness it's a thing. So uh, it's great. It builds resilience. But for some reason, I have not built resilience. What's the deal with that? Anyway, I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for your wonderful comments on the, the um, video on um, that was aired on Boxing Day. Uh, and um, I was so, so appreciative of your comments about uh, the number of views. I was just commenting on how the Renaissance series didn't seem to have as many views, but it may, of course, been because of the holidays. And it's not always everybody's thing, and that's absolutely fine. It wasn't me belly aching, just so you know. But I really do appreciate your kind comments on that. I want to say hi to Geneva as well. Hi, Geneva, uh, and um, and Jen. And in particular, I want to also say, Becky. Yes, I will be doing botanical botanical journal uh, in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so what I thought I would do, I had these pieces of, um, I think they're all Tim Holtz cardstock, they are, and they're five inches wide, and this is just because I had used the full pages, um, a seven inch for a page, and these were kind of scraps, rather large scraps, but still scraps, and I thought it would be fun to make uh, a belly band. Uh, so these, for me, this is a, full size page which would be um, eight and eight and a half by eleven and when it's folded in half it makes five and a half here but I like I, d I rarely do a full size page like this but I thought this would be good size for a folded belly band so I'm just going to get started so this is my thought and I've done this sort of thing several times but I've never used it as a belly band, so I thought this would be kind of a fun little change. So what I want to do is just make like a covered belly band on a page. So we're going to go like this, as simple as that. I wonder how, I think this was eight inches long. I'm going to put a little divot in here to make sure I'm somewhat in the center, not, that's better. And then, <clears throat> pardon me, glue that down here on the edge, like that. Hope you can see, okay. So I hope you had a good holiday. Uh, and for those who didn't have time off and whatnot, I hope you do get to, to um, get some time off and with family in the not too distant future. So this is the sort of thing I want to do, and I, I just want to, we use it, we would glue it on either side, and then it would be a belly band, but it would also be a tuck spot in the belly band as well. And this is just me playing around. I think this is probably bigger than I need it to be, but let's just fold it. Let's do them all at once. Let's just fold it, and then we can decide. I don't think I need it or want it to be super super long and I'll cut it here in a second get my cutter um, yeah that would be fine and then this one has this really funky do I want that on the inside no, no I like it so I'm gonna set that here and go like that and you could use a bone folder here if you want it I'm leaving about three quarters of an inch, I think, above where I've got that fold. So let me just grab my cutter. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Sorry, I moved some stuff. 
and I think I just need to let's see that's good and on this one you don't always have to have that much I'll take a little more off this one there okay and I thought it'd be fun to decorate these with maybe a bit of lace so we'll save these pieces of scraps sorry my nose is deciding it <coughs> wants to uh, run. I'm trying to position this up, but it's good. And then we'll position this one. We must do three at once. There, that looks good. Okay. And we'll stick it down here. So, yeah, the kids were adorable on Christmas morning. There's William, who's 16 months old, my grandson. Um, would, people would open their gifts, and he would sit in the boxes, which is classic, right? That's uh, less interested in the, the things and more interested in just uh, playing in the wrapping and whatnot. And I think that's great because we actually... We actually used that uh, in choosing gifts, you know, things like wrapping things we know he loves, like boxes of shreddies, <laughs> that kind of thing. I don't think they're going to get away with that much longer, but it was, it was, it's, it's a fun thing to do. And the girls were delighted with everything they had as well. So let's just see. I have some lace and I wanted, I thought it would be nice if we put like a piece of lace on here and I think I'm just going to cut this in half so <clears throat> look away if this gives you pain to see a doily cut so because we'll use it on a couple of them and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at an angle oops and then, um, wow, this is, we're struggling here. Uh, cut this as, at an angle and then put the doily on. That's my thought. So let's see how that works out. And then that way there's no real corners here and the doily fits in really, really nicely that way. I like that. Or do we want to put this up higher? We could. Hmm. I think I like it up higher. Okay, I think that's going to happen. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. So you can see a little bit better. There we go. And hopefully I don't goof and forget you're there. Yell at me if I do. So yeah, do you guys have any traditions for New Year's Eve? Um, my husband and I have one where he basically makes hors d'oeuvres, which is lovely. And we always have this plan that we're going to stay up and, you know, watch, have the countdown. And um, I'm, I'm lucky to get to 11 and I'm going to be... Honest, he's lucky to get to nine o'clock. Sadly, that is, that's the way it rolls. So I like that. And I don't mind that this comes down a little bit further. I think that's fine. Uh, let's do another one. Isn't that funny? These are completely from completely different packages and it's both, <laughs> I didn't realize that, that kind of um, crackled, crackled uh, paint. Okay, so do this one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go like this. Nope, that's not right. Turn it over. That's correct. And cut this side. Okay. Perfect. Do we want to put that one there? Yeah, you do. Yeah, this one really needs that because that's a lot of busy pattern, isn't it? So. Yeah, 
Yeah, we have that luxury of being close to our grandchildren now. We have one one of our kids lives lives away, but they don't have kid, children, um, and um, they are visiting in-laws this Christmas. So you got to share them. It's not always easy, but you got to share them. The kids. Okay, I like that as well. Now for this one, what do we want to do? Got another little doily. And we could do that. Maybe I'll cut less than half. Let's do that. Let's get brave and use yeah, that's nice. That'll be nice there. I just think these make a nice addition. And put this here to cut. That. That looks great. And it does go. Okay. It's a big circle. I'm just using this as our glitter glue, and it does. I know I say this a lot, but I don't always know if it, if new folks are watching. And welcome, everybody's welcome, especially those who've been with me for a while. I so appreciate you, and I so appreciate folks coming along as well. Um, Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing um, a botanical, botanical journal, so I think those are really fun. Okay, so they of course need some more stuff, don't they? Alright, this is my thought. I have, I have some little tags like this. I think, do I have any more? I don't know that I have any more of those. I do have, I'm looking at some things. Oh, I do. Okay. So I want to put a tag in each one of them anyway. It's a bumblebee. And there's another bee in there. And we'll save those. And I've got some little, like, fabric. I don't know if that, but I don't think that'll work. It might work up here, though. Let's see, do I have any more that are small? Love these little, um, these are from Tim Holtz Stamps. It's a lot of bees. And then there's some flowers. It's a nice butterfly as well. Let's see what we can do with those. Uh, let's see, I've got some paper as well. Sort of, oh, these little flies are adorable. <laughs> I say that now, but do you all know that when we're in the midst of summer, we're not we're not enjoying the flies hanging around when we're having a barbecue or whatever. I do think he's kind of cute right there. Um, so we may use him. We may use this guy too. Let's just pull that off and see see how we go. I just know that I don't need them to be that wide. All right, so let's think about, um, we could put something like the butterfly there on the lace. I'm not sure how I feel about the difference in color though. Uh, I think I'd be more inclined. I've got some little pieces that I always keep to the side. I think some of these, I think they might be um, Artie Mays, but I know this is, this is uh, Tracy Fox. Okay. So I think I want that there for sure. So I'm going to glue that on there. And yeah, I like that. Like so. I like the using paper on fabric. I think that is really nice as well. Um, let's see, I'm going to just set these off to the side. 
want something like this. No, I don't think so. I think I want a piece of of um, paper. Yeah, I think I want a piece of paper. This is some Rachel paper. I'm just going to tear a piece like that uh, from her, uh, I think it's called Old Papers, if I'm not mistaken. And I may well be. Um, but I'm not sure I see enough color there. Wait, that's good. That's good there. And I could just fold it over like that. Okay, let's do that. This is just kind of seat of your pants crafting. Oh guys, I, I did a major, major mistake this morning. <laughs> My daughter posted a, she's starting to crochet, which is really lovely. And she did her first pattern uh, of a little stuffy, stuffed animal. And she was like, you know, my first pattern. I said, oh, it's awesome. And, you know, what a great Pikachu. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, and then, then I heard, Mom, it's not Pikachu. It's a fox. So, <laughs> I was like, oh dear, sorry, honey. Didn't mean to burst your bubble. It's a it's a great fox. I just I think I think I had my head in the Pikachu mode because the girls love well especially um, Julia. They love uh, anything to do with Pokemon, and so I assumed that she made a Pokemon. But I should not have I shouldn't have said anything. I think. <laughs> Oops. Anyway. I, well, I'll be paying for that for a while, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, what else do I need here? Um, let's see, oh, let's see, do I have some? Hmm, just looking to see if I have some more stuff, but this is a piece that's got laces and whatnot sewn on, it's quite thick, but it might be kind of pretty, like right there. Do you see enough of it, enough variation? Oh, I like that one, I think, there. Oh, there's too much. Let's do this. I'm going to cut it. And what I might do later is I might end up, um, I'll probably lift this up and sew that on, but we'll glue it on for now because I think it's pretty cool. And that's just a little bit of a snippet I made a long time ago. So, set that there. It's on some quilted fabric. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I've got these. That's super cute. But you don't really see anything, do you? You almost have to... almost have to... Um, use a portion of those and I don't want to um, cut them up. Let's see, what else do I have? I must have some washi here. Let me just grab and see if I have any washi in my box. Don't want to waste your time having me look for washi tape. Hmm. Hmm. I do not see my uh, William Morris washies. I must have taken them upstairs. Yeah. Oh, I do have this though. This is the um, this is a Tim Holtz washi. Let's see. Could have something like that there. And sorry, I shouldn't pile these on top of each other. It makes it hard for you to see. I think. See, I could put a piece of this on here. Just set it right there, I think. And I think that looks really cute. 
like I said, this just shows where you might put something. And this one, we've got a butterfly. We've got our little bug there. Do I want to put like a butterfly there as well? No. Mm. Because I've got that down there, this now balances. So let's see. I'm going to try ripping a piece. And I could put that there. And I think that balances quite nicely now, actually. All right. So I'm just going to put my art glitter glue where I think this is, where it goes. And like I said, we can. We can go back and sew a little if we need to, or want to, and that will stick there. Put some glue underneath it. I think that looks really nice as well. well let's see. Do I want? This one doesn't have an image, and I feel like it wants an image of some sort. So we could put this cute little fly over here if we want it. Or better still, let's let it let's cut one of these little. I said I didn't want to cut them, but let's let's think about doing that. Let's think about putting that little iris there, and I'm just going to cut, or tear, a bit around it and see if that's what we want. Yeah, I think that looks nice there. What do you think? Just a little bit of interest. This definitely would have good, been a good project to use some washi on, but like I said, I didn't have my some of my favorites here, so move that over a little tiny bit. It doesn't mean we can't still put some washi on. We could absolutely still put some washi on it. So yeah. So I think I would sew. Let me just see. How is my sewing machine? I don't think I have any my threads empty. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put you through that. Um, Yeah, let's make a tag that might go behind it. How's that sound? I think that would be good, and I like this one too. It's a little bit plainer. We could put a little bit of paper here. Um, got some uh, got some paper from a from a. Um, Dictionary it might be kind of fun. More like that. Yeah, I think we do. So I'm going to just put some glue on here. This is the way I kind of uh, approach things anyway. Gosh, I'm sorry about all the. This is, seems like a very uh, haphazard sort of video. Mm -hmm. I apologize if that's something that's not comfortable for folks. And what if I took a little piece of, I've got some velvet here, and I'm just going to cut off a piece of velvet. <clears throat> and I'm going to see if I can, I don't know if it think it tears? It does. Uh, and what if we put something like that there at the bottom? That's super pretty. And it's just got such a lovely um, lush feel. There's just something about velvet, isn't there? And so I'm just going to set that there, letting it hang over a little tiny bit. I think that looks really cute. 
All right, so <laughs> we've got three very different, um, gosh, I'm going back to this one. Do I need something on that one as well? Now, the three very different ones, and like I said, they're probably not 100% finished, and I'll finish them when I know where they're going to go in a particular journal. Uh, but the, the fun of it is is that it would be a, uh, a belly band. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue this one in, just to show you, on this page. This would be a page in a journal. So I'm just going to glue it, and I would probably glue it a little closer to this side, leave a little more space there, because I find that if you don't put too much really next to the spine, then that's better for the journal. It doesn't get, it's not as likely to get the alligator mouth. Um, so that becomes, you know, it's functional as a pocket. Uh, let's see, do I have some, I have some tags here. It's functional as a pocket and this is a tag that would go like that behind it. So do we have time to just very, very quickly, let's very quickly uh, decorate this tag. Let me see, I have some paper. This is some beautiful Rachel paper. Oh, it's got her beautiful coffee tan staining on the back. I'm going to end up covering that with the tag, but that's fine. It was an extra from a journal that I was making. I was like, I don't need, it got too full. So, but everything gets used one way or another. Okay, so I'm just going to set this here like that, and then we can cut it out. And very quickly, finish our tag, and we'll be cooking. Okay, super pretty paper, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's beautiful as is, but why not put one of our um, We've got the butterflies, we've got a butterfly there. I've got, these are all stamped. And I quite like this. And I actually think this is an, an Iosier stamp. I think it is. Yeah, pretty sure. So I'm gonna put this cloth, but isn't that funny? The seed pods, and then of course those are dandelion seed pods. Wow. Funny how things happen like that, isn't it? All right. Set that up here. Like that. Now, I probably could have torn it closer to the image, but I don't mind these little bits just kind of cascading over. And we're going to glue there. And, oop, I'm getting close to time, aren't I? there. So it could be as simple as that. I think it would be fun to put a little bit of um, a little bit of paper. Oh, I see a little tiny piece of washi. And I'm just going to put that down here. Yeah, that's good. Clearly, I missed it with the glue there, but that's okay. And this is also one that could you could put a word or anything, put a hole and put something in it. But I know I only have 30 minutes, so we put this in here like that. We've got our tag, we've got our belly band, and we've got a little pocket like that. Super cute. Super, super cute. So that's it, guys. That's me kind of improvising today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give it a try. It's super easy to do. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.